Welcome back guys to part two of the Retro Arcade UK website build. So this is for this video, sorry, we're going to be creating the contact page and the about us page. Uh, previously we talked ahead and we um, also made a video on the landing page. And then on top of that, we continued on and just progressed making the rest of the site. So as I said, this time we're going to be making the About Us page and the Contact page. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. So as you can just see uh, in front of us, we've got a blank canvas. Of course, we've got our um, we've got our vector art here, and we've also got our menu item. So what we want to do is we want to we want to go ahead and create the Sorry, uh, we want to go ahead and create the About Us page. So yes, we'll go ahead and get started on that. So I've got to make sure we'll pin this to all pages. Okay, good. So if we go back to the Contact Us for the About Us page. All right, so what we want to do here, uh, straight away, we want to go ahead and change the background so it's consistent with the rest of the site. So we'll go ahead and change it to an image and we'll go ahead and click on that. Okay, and that's perfect. Okay, go ahead and exit that. Okay, so that looks good to me. Now we wanna create a, an area here. So we wanna section this out so that it is around say, We'll use the tools here for the toolbar. We're gonna to put that to 290, okay. And just right in the middle, we're gonna go ahead and add our contact us. So, or about us, sorry. We'll just have this all capitalized. Okay, and then we're just going to extend that out. We're going to go ahead and increase the sizing of this to about 40. Okay, that's perfect. There we are. Okay. So that's the sort of front uh, of what we've got going on here. And then maybe we're going to add a little tagline. So we'll add a sort of horizontal line just below it. Just do this, okay. And then just another one here. And the team. Okay, so something like that. We're gonna edit that text so that it's a little bit smaller. Probably at around twenty or fifteen, maybe. Or let's see, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and extend that out. Okay. Eighteen. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. So um, we've got that around there. Um, we'll actually increase that to 300, just so it's not too. 300. Or was it 250? I think it's 250. Okay, that's perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a section below it. And uh, we're actually just going to go, not for a blank section, but something more with the team, since this is going to be about the team. So there's a couple of options here, uh, which is this one or that one. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Of course, we did have two team members, from what I remember, on the homepage. If I go ahead and look over, 
as you can see, we've got two team members, Stephen Kane and Stephen Kane. Of course, you know, that can all be changed up. So we'll just go to the About Us page. Okay. Okay, we'll just leave the description as is. I'm happy enough as how that's laid out. We'll just go ahead and edit this text out. So it's sin. Okay, and then this one I want to make sin as well. Then what we want to do is change this background a little bit so that it's a little transparent. Probably not by much, but 80. Okay, so it's coming along there. Okay, and mainly for an about us page, you also want to create another. So I'm just going to go ahead and create another blank section here. Uh, but this time I'm going to be talking about um, So these templates are very, very handy to have. So it's good to see them. I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit. And just so at the background here, we're gonna go ahead and say that there's no background there. And then same with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and make that colorless. But I'm gonna actually Change out the black or make it white, but this time I'm gonna have it at 80. Have this black. Let's see here. It's a uh, personal preference, really, on how you want to create your site. This is merely just a little tutorial just to help you guys out. Okay, so. Let's do that, customize that design, go ahead and turn it into black. Okay, we want to do the same for this one. We'll go ahead and manage the columns in this one. Change the background column, change the color or not to white and then bring that down to 80%. Perfect. Okay. So it's still got that background look to it, as you can see. Okay, so happy enough with that. So they can have like a little paragraph here with our story, etc. And then of course, wherever you want to link this button to, as you can see. So yeah, that sort of covers that part. Um, there's other ways, of course, you can create a, an About Us page. Uh, so. Uh, several other designs. So we'll move on and now start creating the contact us. Okay. Same again, you can have that site design. This will has the same flow without throughout the entire site. Okay, happy enough. Right, so what I might do actually is I'm gonna go ahead and go to pages and menu and instead of creating a new one, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this one. Just duplicate it. Okay, and then contact us. It's perfect. So now I want to have something saying contact us. Okay, so that's that sort of area covered. Now we can have, go ahead and delete these sections out. Okay, 
See, we can actually sort of keep this uh, if we want to. And then what I'll do is I'll add a section in for the contact. Of course, you can go ahead and pick some of the contact information that they have. Uh, this one's a fairly good one here, nice and big. Or you can go for something like this. So that's the get in touch one. As you can see, they've got different little options there. Um, what we'll do actually is we'll go ahead and just modify the one we have and just sort of replicate what we can get. So touch. And then from here, so you can choose one of the contact uh, forms if you want to, or you can go ahead and just create your own. And what's great is that they've already got some pre-made ones here as well. Let's see. And all it requires is a little bit of customization. So of course that's out of line there. So we'll go ahead and adjust that down. And then for this one, we want to go ahead and increase that using our toolbar to maybe 600, okay. So our contact us form right here. And of course this column here, we were gonna go ahead and change the layout and center it out. Find out where the center is. Okay, happy days. Of course you want to change some of the design of this if you want to so you can say send on that one and then you can add the form settings of course as you can see I submit message and then in touch So as you can see on the bottom right there, it's thanks for submitting. But if we go ahead and click off this, it should say we'll be in touch, as you can see. Okay. And then you can even add some side markers as well, just like, you know, um, See if we go down here, change basic ship. And we'll change that design to black. Let's see what else. Um, we'll skip forward here just so I could show you this. I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so that's a quick little uh, example of what you can do for your contact us, as you can see. Um, of course, there's other ways to do it if you want to. We'll go ahead and just adjust this a little bit as well, just so it's not too because I want that to be even there. So yeah, there's just other um, like different methods to creating a Wix site or Wix contact form. So get as creative as you, you can with it. And um, yeah, hopefully this uh, quick little video helped. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.